Yeah. Hold on. Let me get this camera straight. Hold on, y'all. Nigga working, working with some good shit again. You heard me? Uh, before I get into day five of my sobriety, I want to give a few shout outs. Um, people from all over hitting me up. My people's out in Sacramento, San Diego. What up, Relly? You know? Them niggas say shit like, oh, mama. You feel me? My people down in Texas, all in Houston, they say, already. My people down in Kentucky, Kentucky State University, you know the 40601 slash the 502. My people from Lex to the Lou, and I ain't talking about St. Louis, I'm talking about Louisville, fool. That's right, Louisville. Not Louisville, Louisville. You gotta, you gotta be down there to know about that, you know? My people down in Dave County, you know, Michigan, of course, Ohio, Dayton, Cincinnati. Man, I got people everywhere, you feel me? Niggas just reaching out like, bro, you a fool for trying to get sober. Not you. Yeah, nigga, me. I'm getting sober. Hopefully y'all can follow my footsteps and we can get together and really get this money. Drag this bitch by the balls again. Day five, sober, feeling good, thinking clear. I'm up jotting down ideas, money ideas, you know, putting together a team. Uh, shout out to Joy Row, X and Nine for teaching me that. I, didn't, I, didn't, I have a father, but he really wasn't there like that. The streets groomed me. Mama raised me, streets groomed me. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the West End, J-O-Y till I die. I thank y'all niggas for that. R.I.P. to that nigga Rio Brown. Uh, a lot of y'all niggas know Rio. Some of y'all don't. He was the nigga that you love to hate. You know, that nigga would come through. He would show you some love. He was like a brother. You would love him. He would do some shit to piss you the fuck off. And you would be like, I hate this nigga, dog. This nigga get on my motherfucking nerves, but you had to love him because he was that type of person. Come through in a hummer on your grass, ah uh ha, -huh, bitch, fuck you, you know. Like this nigga ignorant as hell. And the next day he'll call you like, bro, my fault, you know. Ah, uh, just on some other shit. R.I.P. to Rio, his whole family, the Browns. Shout out to everybody showing me some love. Back to my sobriety, day five, just the beginning of the day. I'm out shooting run. I'm over here, family dollar. I'm in the parking lot and shit, you know what I'm saying? Look where I'm at, Eastland, bitch. Applebee's and shit. Told y'all niggas, I be on the east side, dog. If you, don't, if you from the D, y'all know. Like, this nigga really be on the east side. Shouting out Joy Road and shit. Yeah, nigga. Back to my sobriety. Uh, I've never been a drinker. Although, people in my family have been addicted to alcohol. I had a grandmother who struggled with alcohol. She cleaned herself up. She went through sobriety. I think I mentioned that before in another video. I've never um, held a conversation with anybody about my struggle with uh, substance abuse, and, and neither have they had a conversation with me. Nobody really expresses that people treat weed like, uh, like it's grass, like it's wind and water. I mean, and really, it is. It's just as common as anything else. I watched, what was I watching? Mar marijuana, the, the, the history or something like that, some shit on TV. They talking about the Emerald Triangle, Humboldt County, um, you know, Northern California. I can't think of all the counties now. I know it's Humboldt and uh, some other shit. Anyway, they was talking about that and how marijuana has the highest revenue of all crops combined. That's wheat, corn, whatever, whatever the fuck you can grow in America, marijuana is at the top of the chain. They can't even estimate how much. It's in the billions. They know anywhere from 15 billion all the way up to 200 billion. And that could be just in California. California been slapping off the weed. Now you got other states that are becoming, um, you know, medical associated. Everybody growing motherfucking weed. Everybody got a light on in their basement or their back room or their attic. Everybody trying to grow something. So the estimated value of this substance that I was abusing is through the charts. So now they're trying to legalize it to get the money from that to put towards whatever it is they want to do. You know the politics and shit. I ain't about to go off into all that. But we, that shit is powerful. You know what I'm saying? As far as the money that it generates, as far as the clientele, and as far as what it do for you, whether it's good or bad, that shit is out cold. Uh, being sober, man, is a, is a beautiful thing. My brother asked me last night, well, how long you going for? How long you trying to stay sober? And I told him, you know, at least 30 days. But realistically, I know 30 days is just a stepping stone, you know. 
60 days, 90 days, 120. They always say one day at a time. But now that I've been sober for five days, I realize that stopping is not that hard. It was just all mental. I kept telling myself, oh, it's going to be hard to stop. I don't know if I'm going to be able to quit. But really, just walked away from it. I just stopped buying Rellos when I walked in the gas station. And that's something else. I do a lot of driving. As y'all see, I'm in my car again. A uh, guy emailed me last night. I don't know who he was, but he emailed me. He said, he asked me, why do I shoot all my videos in the car? He tried to crack a joke like, what, you don't have a house? Of course I have a house. I got twin daughters. You see the car seats back there? I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's two car seats back there. I got twin daughters, so of course I have a home. Not just a house, but I have a home, fool. I'm in the car all the time because I'm a trapaholic. Don't you hear me screaming this J-O-Y till I die shit? That's part of the anatomy. If you're from Joy Road, you got to hustle. Not that you have to, but you got to hustle. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no other way. Ain't nobody passing out no jobs. Ford ain't hiring. GM not hiring. Chrysler not hiring. Joy Road teach you how to survive. Period. Detroit would teach you how to survive. And that's why you can find Detroit niggas all across the country. They, and they rolling. Them niggas slapping. It's niggas in Nebraska from the D. What up to y'all? It's niggas in small towns all the way across this country. I guarantee you it's in Detroit niggas somewhere. Period. Detroit Detroit creates the hustle. So if you're born in the D, you are part of the hustle. Either you a custo or you a boss. Either you a worker or you a boss. You know, it's, it's, it's something. It's one of, one of the few. Very few people come up in this motherfucking go get a job and live to be successful, live off their 401k when they get 55 or 60. I know people that's working every day. They got good jobs. They work for state departments. They work for federal departments. Them niggas is doing something on the side, whether it's legal or illegal. And that's the type of the, that's the type of environment that a lot of my people come from. So we hustle. That's why I'm always in my car because. You can't get paid just sitting in the house, sitting still. You got to get out here and interact with the people and see what's popping. Me being sober has allowed me to interact with the people more. So the more interaction with the people, the more bread you make. It's just that simple. Pick your poison. Day five of my sobriety. Uh, I'm going to do another video later on today about single mothers raising young men and the cause and effect of that. Why men out here knocking bitches across the head, whooping their ass robbing, you know, doing all this crazy shit, and they say, oh, it's the drugs, it's this, it's that. No, it's these single women that don't know what to teach these men. They want to teach their sons what they want from a man. And that's not necessarily what's right. What you want may not be what's best for him. So that's a whole nother subject. I'm going to do my own video on that. Just wanted to check in and let everybody know that I'm still sober. Talking clear, eyes clear, the sky is blue. Even on a rainy day. Like, ain't that a bitch? When you high, everything is a different color. When you under the influence all the time, you see everything differently. So now I understand why um, musicians and artists, they use drugs to inspire themselves. Not more so use drugs or clutch on it, but you hear people in the music, you know, we smoking loud and we sipping on Ace of Spades and all that. All that shit enhances character but if you don't have the correct people around you to help enhance your character in a positive manner then you off the boat nigga you might as well just jump you become a nigga like me who end up abusing the substance and not even realizing what's really going on so shout out to everybody who done showed me some love everybody from california to new york i got i got niggas in new york i got niggas in all corners of this country they may not be necessarily people I'm on the phone chit chat with all the time, but they chuck me the deuces, salute, show me love. What up to y'all niggas, man? Later on today, check for that video. Then I'm going to do another one tonight about the end of day five. Checking in, let y'all know my struggle, how hard it has been for me, or how easy it has been for me. If you got any questions, leave it on the comment box. Email me, J at uh, gmail.com. Get at me on Twitter, I am King J. Follow me on Instagram, the real King J. Shout out to J O Y R O A D, nigga. And when I say Joy Road, I don't mean from Telegraph to Linwood. When I say Joy Road, I'm speaking the West End, uh, real talk, from the Southfield Freeway to Rouge Park, from West Warren to West Chicago. That's the hood, my nigga. The people that come from that 
sanction. Nat Sector. You heard of Zone 8, right? Nigga, welcome to Zone 9, the drug zone. You learn a lot in the drug zone. So, shout out to all my niggas that's here, all my niggas that's gone. Rest in peace, Rio Brown. Rest in peace, Steve Bush. You know, sad niggas is dropping like flies. So, it, you gotta get up and, and, and do something, man, because tomorrow ain't promised, man. Guy got his eye on you, so you never know when your calling coming. That's it, man. Holla.